Okay, guys, how can these steer some of the S mount details? He's starting in the low mount, double grapevine. If you can, a lot of sport jujitsu guys keep your legs straight and T Rex. And then, may you got to be up here, and your, your feet are usually based on the ground. You're looking for the bridge to escape more likely. So, we're talking more for MMA and a bit of no gi action, too. He's going to come to the S mount. If, if the guy's T Rex, okay, tight in here, you're going to go under the elbow, like you're shooting the arm triangle to climb your way to the S mount, okay? Or just a high mount, remember, I, do, I jump into the high mount a lot just for the pretzel twist. He goes to the S mount from here, knees tight to the ear. If, if possible, it gets under the shoulder blade here. This gets even tighter, okay? And this guy can't go anywhere. He's crossing again. Maybe there's a pretzel there. See if you can shove his arms. Bam. Okay, and you actually get a little, when you want it, a little deeper, so this one locks this elbow like a typical armor, okay? If the pretzel's not there, that's okay. Look to clear the, the arm from the grab, cleared, okay? Then you can either go for the rock forward arm bar, which I think he's gonna prefer, and I prefer because I don't give up the top mount position. Okay, so go ahead and tap him out with that. And you just kind of rock forward. See him off at, at like a maybe 35 degree angle towards the leg, head this way, but sitting his butt down on the chest. Okay, so he's controlling the guy's weight, and if it fails, he bails, and he's still in this nice, tight position. We're talking MMA, the punches to the head, the elbows are totally open, and there he's, you know, up for attacks again. Go for it, the arm bar S mount. Okay, there's the forward one, good, again. Then come back, this time go for hooking the, 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 that leg to go to your back to S mount. Good, pull your head towards his leg, okay. S mount, we're gonna cross top leg on bottom. If you can control under the shoulder, this is best. You're hooking in here or hooking your hip bone with, with this one. This is actually the tighter grip, okay? To hook your own hip bone. And there's this, again, hooking this inside leg stops the thumbs up runaway escape, which is the number one escape in MMA. We see it all the time. That's why I usually don't go for an arm bar. I wanna give up the position, especially if elbows are loud in the head. But especially if they're not, you're gonna look for S mount a lot. Um, even great jujitsu guy Jake Shields against Paul Daly went for an S mount armbar like I think three times until he got it. Um, he tried it multiple times, you know. Um, but not hooking this leg. If you don't hook this leg, the runaway escapes there. So for explosive armbars, knee on belly, spin a Rooney armbars to the other side. I usually do traditional. So I'll do a traditional armbar. Now hooking. Um, yeah, let, let him um, just show the position out that you usually take with your feet by his neck. Traditional arm bar, a little different position. Here, sucking this in. This is good. This is not wrong. He's got double wrist control. You can grab inside the thumb. That gives you a little bit better rudder control. Rudder control can stop the runaway escape as well. If he starts to run away, go slow, he can rudder back this way and, and hip up and, and break the elbow. So, well, you know, rudder control is also good. I like this position more for the speed, fast, explosive, transitional arm bars. Um, a lot of my other videos had an arm spin arm bar, um, yeah, belly arm bar, when you're setting up a Camaro, spinning around to the other side arm bar, like uh, Matt Hughes GSP. Um, this style is good. Other positions to not give up, and I'll switch to the S mount, it's really different. Let's hook the leg. It's going to hook the leg, rock off towards the leg. This is Eddie Bravo's style here, across the ankles. You're under the shoulder, top leg on bottom. A lot of guys do make this mistake, even in an upcoming movie with an MMA fighter in it. Top leg goes on bottom. See, now there's space, and this would allow him to grab your arms together and, and roll in now. Try and base in. This makes a big difference. Okay, so, so uh, basing and stacking in escapes a lot different if the top leg's on top. So a lot of guys make this mistake. Top leg on bottom, pinching the knees, hooking the leg, head to the leg, and then hip control here. So let's get an S mount arm bar. And uh, that's it guys, so look at all the details for the S mount arm bar, and we're going to talk about the arm triangle next.